I'm Ryan. And I'm Allie. After falling in love, we decided to ride bikes across America. Collecting love advice along the way. This is Love Cycles. No No flatties, no no whammies, no no crashies. Ah, shame, brothers! No, don't leave! You're the best. Sure, you love you, Miss Sally. Uh, oh, that was so fun. Bye, guys! We only used one bed. We could have bounced on both beds. Give it a bounce. There we oh, go. Oh, these are good ones! We were about to leave the room, and Allie's like, wait, we forgot something! Babalish just left us ice cream for breakfast. Drink it. Mm. You want to come with us, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. All right, partner, let's go. Whoa. No flatties and whammies and crashies. Bye, doc. See you, buddy. A lucky penny. Yes. 1975. I have not spent much time in Nebraska. I've essentially just driven through it on my way to do Ragbri in Iowa. And uh, I'm excited to get to know this state. This is the Midwest. Goodbye, big majestic mountains. Hello, plains and farm fields and humidity. Wait, what's up? What's going on? How you doing? Good to see you. I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you. I know your dad. So here we are in Rushville, Nebraska, a teeny little town, and this woman starts running at me. Ryan, is that you? I'm like, who is this? And I get closer, it's Megan. Hi! My good bud from home. This is nuts. What what are you doing here? Super, we're in nowhere, Nebraska, <laughs> and like out in the middle of nowhere, we we are on a road trip. Uh, my boy and me, and we are going to visit family in Minnesota and kind of got a late start and rerouted to this road I have never been on. So we have never been this route before and I passed these guys on the highway. I was like, how weird would that be if that was Ryan and it's Allie, right? It's yeah. Allie. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love how small the world can be. And now I get to meet Allie, which is awesome. This is so, so cool. I know. Oh, have it's, fun on the rest of your trip. Absolutely, Good you guys too. Years. Wow, this is super nice. We were biking along Highway 20 and kept on seeing this trail off left. We were like, huh, is that the cowboy trail? Decided to go over and check it out. Turns out it's a beautiful, hard pack crusher finds trail. Got it all to ourselves. We're aiming at a town called Valentine. I think that's the official start of the cowboy trail, but they are gonna connect it way out here and it will someday become the longest rail trail in the United States, about 300 miles. So we're riding the very beginnings of it. My stepfather always called this flyover country, and um, you know, that uh, that's my history. I've flown over, flown through, but never spent any time here, and I'm really looking forward to, yeah, getting to know the place. The beginnings of Nebraska were absolutely beautiful, and now we're on a gorgeous trail. We are closing in on our destination for the day. We've ridden 77 miles. The town is called Merriman. It's a teeny town, but we're hoping they have a swimming pool. All the other towns we've passed today, even the small ones, have had a swimming pool, and it sure would be nice to jump in a pool right now. Uh, Yeah. We got a park right here. Okay. Okay, see where that little brown shed is? Yeah, absolutely, yep. Awesome, thank you so much for your help. Here's our home for the night. The Million Star Hotel. We have our own playground with teeter-totters. I really like this park. There are so many beautiful trees up here. And our our hotel tonight comes with its own concierge named James. How you doing, James? Are those Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shoes? Yeah. Awesome. You know what we're doing right now? We're biking across the country from the West Coast to the East Coast, from Oregon all the way to New York City. Does that sound crazy or does that sound cool? That sounds cool. Sounds cool, doesn't it? (laughs) Yeah, you look good with that sticker. 
You like it? <laughs> uh-huh, very cool. James is gonna show us the best place to get into the water. There's a creek right here, there he goes. I like our little friend. Look at him go. All right, so where do we get in the water? Right there. Right there? Oh, so we just jump jump off the bridge? Really? It seems a little shallow. You gonna do it? I'm gonna dive in. You gonna dive in? Do it, bud. Are you guys gonna get all the way in? Yeah, we're gonna get all the way in. I promise. <laughs> Flash party! Oh. 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 I, think, I don't think it's deep enough. If I was your father, I'd say that's a bad idea, but since I'm not, go for it. <laughs> Get in the oh. yep. This is way better than a swimming pool, what do you think? Definitely better than a swimming pool. Yep. Alright, I gotta get you! I'm pointed at stuff and you record. Filming. Can you see my face in there? Mm-hmm. Yeah? <laughs> Hi. We have a new cameraman today named James. Are you gonna film the picnic table? Oh, there's Allie. Oh, just kidding. There's Allie again. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Do you have any questions you want to ask us, Mr. Reporter? What's your favorite food? Um, I don't know yet. You don't know that? That's a good answer. You haven't eaten it all yet. I feel like I'm back in Honduras in the Peace Corps like playing with my kids. This is what we did a lot, just playing. <laughs> Good morning from the town park here in Merriman. So this here is Main Street Merriman. The sign coming in says like 115 people. It's a very small town, but uh, most of these old buildings are all boarded up. They don't look like they're in business. This is kind of what small town America looks like these days. You know, big box stores like Walmarts and other things kind of kill these places because the prices are so low and they have everything. So these mom and pop shops can't really, can't really keep up, which is a shame. You know, I get it. I get why people go to Walmart for sure, but it definitely has a negative effect on little places like this. There might be other factors involved, but that's definitely one of them. I think starting every day on a swing set is a good way to start a day. In elementary school, when we had recess in the mornings, that was pretty much the prime of my life. I love recess. <laughs> I was really heartbroken when I got older and they took away recess. Getting ready for another day on the road in Nebraska. Mm, no flatties, no whammies, no crashies. We're gonna say we ride bikes today. Okay. Okay. Good morning, Nebraska. Lovely to see your hay fields. Today is an exciting day because we have 60 miles until we get to the town of Valentine, where the cowboy rail trail officially starts and we'll be on that for 200 miles pretty much all the way across nebraska and also we have two very special guests joining us this evening to ride for a couple days and i'm really excited for you to see them and meet them they are wonderful people So we met a guy in town last night that said that these are the only grass stabilized sand dunes in the entire world. And they don't look like sand dunes, but they, they are. They're all covered in grass. So 
the store we bought our food at this morning is a student run store which is a really uh, neat and interesting thing to see in a small town like this where there's not a lot of opportunity for kids, these are high school kids, to join the workforce. There's no McDonald's, they can't sell newspapers. So somebody's created a program here where high school kids can learn how to work in and run a convenience store. And I think that is a really neat thing to do. And they have Nutella. And clearly, the kids know how to stock a store. Nutella, Noosa, good job kids. just happened? Um, something just flew into my face and stung my mouth. So you want to talk about what's happening and why it's somewhat serious? Well, we were biking along and something flew into my face and it stung my lip and um, I'm allergic to stinging insects, to uh, wasps and yellow jackets. I can go into anaphylactic shock, so I just took a bunch of Benadryl and hopefully um, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and if not, I have an EpiPen and Ryan will stab me in the butt with it and get me to a hospital. 15, 30 minutes after I get stung, I usually start getting hives. Uh, the last time I got stung, I started going into anaphylactic shock and that took about 45 minutes. When you get stung, one of the first things you wanna do is just lay down and get your heart rate really low. It's possible that whatever stung me was something I'm not allergic to, like a honeybee, which would be great. Um, but I didn't see it, so I don't know. So I always just want to play it safe. Lay down for a little while, take a bunch of Benadryl, and yeah, mitigate any possibilities of having a dangerous reaction while out in the middle of nowhere with no medical facilities. How you doing, Allie? We rested up for a couple hours to make sure that I wasn't going to break out in hives, and I haven't, which I'm super grateful for. So now we are pushing forward. I'll be at a slower speed because I had a handful of Benadryl, um, but we've only got 20 miles to go, so I figure I can sleep bike that pretty easily. Valentine! I can see their car. We are finally in Valentine, feeling pretty good. It's been a bit of a rough day, right? But we have two special guests, and if you've been following my channel for the past two years, you know these people, you love these people, all the way from Boulder! It's the It's the being gone for so long uh, and we brought in cookies and la croix water la croix. Yeah. well we're so excited you're here this we is gonna be so special guys. we're we so happy yeah. 